What is up, you guys? Supreme Gaming 2013 here with another Hexit tutorial for the better storage mod. Alright, we're gonna go to our first item the reinforced chest. The reinforced chest is made of so. The reinforced chest comes in iron, gold, copper, and emerald. They're all made the same way, except it would be iron block, iron ingot, or gold block, gold ingot, copper ingot, gold ingot. The special thing about the reinforced chest is they don't take explosive damage. So a meteor shower or a creeper would not explode them. They would still be intact. The only difference is between the diamond chest and the iron chest and the only difference is between all the chests is just the way they look. As the you can see how the diamond is blue and how the emerald's green, the copper is orange tin is darker is sort of dark gray silver's like a light white and gold is just gold all right our next item the key now there are two different keys there's a golden key and then there's an iron key now what these keys are used for is to make a lock now yes in this mod you can lock chests so we are going to take a reinforced chest. I'm going to show you how it works. And we are going to take everything that's here. Now, the key the lock that you make the key that you make the lock with will be the key you need to use to open the lock with. As you'll see here, make the lock, the key stays. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna plop down your chest, you're gonna right click with the lock, and you're gonna right click with the key giving you access to a reinforced chest. If I were to just right click without a key, I can't get in there. What this mod also adds is a couple of enchantments that can help out with uh, the chest and lock. You can get morphing, which permanently morphs a key into a lock. So I could just morph a key into someone, I could use the morphing to get into someone else's lock. There's the lock picking one where it allows you, it allows a better chance of you getting into that person's chest and a few other ones that are listed in the description below. Next we're going to move on to the locker. The locker is made of so and the special thing about the locker is you can stack them and as you stack it you're going to want to shift right click to get it on top and as you can see it turns into one big locker that holds a good amount of space and you could just have one locker too that holds just about the same as a regular chest. Next, we're going to move on to the crate. Now, the crates are pretty cool. What you can do is, as you can see, one crate only has little storage, but when you put other crates near it, it has a lot. Another weird thing about the crate is, I'm just going to grab some blocks. When you, Every time you open it, the blocks will be in a different position. As you can see, as I open and reopen the chest, uh, reopen the crates, and yeah, as you go further and further with making these things bigger, the more space you'll have. And next, we will go to the keyring, which I've not fully learned how to use. I've been right-clicking with it. I've been trying to put, like, in a crafting recipe, the key with the ring, and it doesn't work. But you can't pull the key off the key ring which is really weird next to go on is the backpack the backpack is made of so and you just take it and the wiki says you can put it on your chest piece as a chest and you can carry it around as you can see here I can't get it on it's not working for some reason even if I go into here and wait into here try to put it here but here you can't see it. No way to go at it. If I put go into F5, you could see a tool that I was recently using. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. But what you can do with it is I'm not even in creative mode. What the heck? Uh, there you go. You can just place it maybe like right here. And you know if you're crafting and you have you just put crafting recipes in here, open it up and then go into there. Next, we have the armor stand. The armor stand is made of so. Now, this is not the same thing as 
the armor stand that I will show you right here as this one that's right here. The difference is this one has an open a, a GUI that you can open that will show you your armor here and the armor stand's armor here. Now what you do with this armor stand is if you try to keep right click it, nothing will happen. But if I grab some armor, we're gonna go with scale. If I just right click on them, it'll get the scale the scale armor on the armor stand as where we should diamond scale plate of things and put them on our person and when you go like this you'll have to move it to the other side and there you go that's how the armor stand works uh, but yes I will list the key enchantments below in the description but that is most of the mod it's not a really big mod but it could really help out Especially maybe in like multiplayer servers where you're trying to keep your chests so no one get so no one can get into them, the reinforced chest and a lock will definitely keep it safe. Even if you want, uh, sadly enough, you can't make these double chests. If I'm pretty sure this has a lock on it, if something already has a lock on it, you cannot put another chest next to it to make it a double chest. But you see, it can go like that and then place a lock on it. So yeah guys, that's basically the better storage mod. Not the biggest mod there is, but definitely helpful if you're in your single player or even a multiplayer land world. So yep. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on what mod you would like to see next. See you later.